Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two on nesting and multiplying on a software called eCut by Monster or Macro Monster. And this is a real job that I do all the time, and, and this is the reason I got this software was for this job right here. I have a lady that has multiple sizes of Texas's and other things that she cuts out, or I cut out for. So we're going to go to multiply, and I want 20 of these. So I just have to change this number to 20. I've got my bed size, or it's called a block size, but it's my plywood size at 30 by 24. So I want 20 of those. So it gave me 20 of those. Now this smaller size, I want 20 more. So we're going to go multiply 20. And I do not know why it puts them at that angle, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to nest them together here in just a second. But on this one, she wants 30. And normally I would have had to copy these and duplicate them and try to move them around. So now we have these. Now your next step is to select them all and ungroup them. And we're just going to double check. See, they're not all ungrouped, so we're going to ungroup them again. And then just double check that we got individual units and we do so now I'm going to select them all I'm going to go to nesting I'm going to change my measurements to inches I'm going to go to the the main menu I'm going to go it's 30 by 24 is my plywood size I'm going to search for best results I'm going to put yes it says slower but it's not very slow and I'm gonna hit apply and it did it that fast and hit OK for some reason it puts it up about the window but I'm gonna whoop you've got to grab them all for just the video I'm gonna control G hit P put them in the center of the page and I like looking at things the other way but you can kind of see that how much plywood you're going to save. So if you did bottom up engraving or whatever, you could put it down here at the bottom of your plywood, but this is still good enough. And there is a way I just found out that you could have this little factor where you make sure you weren't off the edge because we're off the edge a little bit there, but that's easily fixed. And you could always take that one and ungroup it if you did find a little little error and just move it over just a little bit with your nudge tool. Because there's parameters you can set in there. I just got this today and I'm still learning. But it is inside that plywood now. That would have taken me with just a few clicks of the macro. I, I don't know that I could have nested them that quick. Or I know I could have done them that quick. And there's no way... I could have got them on there that easily. But anyway, hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.